The Shenzhou 18's return capsule is expected to touch down at the Dongfeng landing site on Monday. The search area stretches tens of thousands of square kilometers, covering Gobi Desert, grassland lakes, and saline landscapes. Wang Zhengjun is part of the search team. He tells us that this search mission has its own challenges. This mission faces conditions of darkness and low temperatures. The main challenge is the darkness, which will make it difficult to search for and locate the target. The search and recovery team has gone through drills to make sure they find their target fast. And the team is experienced. Earlier this year, the same team managed and oversaw the return of the Shenzhou 17, the return of the Chang'e 6 capsule, and the recovery of China's first reusable satellite, the Shijian 19. Wang says their experience will be useful in the return of future manned lunar missions. To have Taikonauts land on the moon and return safely is our long-cherished wish we're preparing for the historic moment. Through all the missions in recent years, we have formed an all-terrain, all-time, all-weather search and rescue team. We have accumulated rich experience in organizing and implementing missions. We have developed capabilities in communications, target search, medical monitoring and treatment, equipment handling and more. This is the foundation for search and rescue operations for future manned lunar exploration and return missions. That said, search and rescue efforts for manned lunar missions have different requirements from those of low Earth orbit flights. For example, there is a difference in terms of isolation and protection of astronauts upon landing on Earth. We're preparing for that too. No matter where the Taikonauts come from in space, the home team says they will get them home safe and sound. Sun Ye, CGTN, Jiuquan, Gansu Province.